What's up guys, I'm Anthony and welcome to Life with Anthony. Happy Sunday to you guys. I hope that you guys are doing well out there. Today guys, I'm going to be showing you what has become my new go-to healthy breakfast since I started the Go Low this week. I love this breakfast. It's really good, it's healthy, and it's really light on your stomach. So let's dive right into the ingredients, but let me turn on this pan first and get this pan going. Alright, for the ingredients of this healthy breakfast, I have some broccoli, some cherry tomatoes, some uh, sausage patties cut up into little cubes, some uh, rustic potatoes cut up into little cubes, and last but not least, I have three eggs mixed with some milk, salt and pepper, and hot sauce. Now right now I'm going to go ahead and give these potatoes a little rinse. because they go in first because they are going to take the longest to get done now you must have the cherry tomatoes for this because that's the burst of freshness in this uh, breakfast really makes a difference now since I started the uh, Golo the release <clears throat> it's been a little bit challenging for me as I knew it would be in on third shift to uh, <clears throat> take this pill three times a day so let's go ahead and get those in there also want to put your broccoli in there because you want your broccoli to kind of grill you want to have like grilled broccoli throughout also your sausages Everything that's going to need a little bit of time to get done. You'll save your eggs and your cherry tomatoes for last. Go ahead and put some, some salt. Now I like the entire dish to have a peppery taste to it. So I add two different types of pepper. These um, different assortment of peppercorns and I also like using my badaya fine uh, pepper this pepper is so good it's really fine and it stays on your food you can see it throughout your food and it gives it a really nice look as well as a taste So that's what I like. So you want to get this all mixed up. A little more oil. Because you want your potatoes to uh, fry up, but not like really deep dark fried, but to each his own. Now if you want to, you can put a, a top on your uh, food and help it to cook quicker, but I prefer not to put a top on mine and just go ahead and let it do its thing at a decent time. Now since I started the uh, Golo or the release on Monday, I surprised myself because I've actually been exercising all this week. I exercised three times this week and by exercise I got on my treadmill. Uh, for 30 minutes and then once I finished with that I did maybe a little bit of five minutes of some other little things that I have around the apartment so I've been trying to get into it and trying to stay consistent with it it has been a challenge I did work one 12 hour day this week and it took a lot out of me because it was unexpected my supervisor came up to me at the last minute and asked me if I could uh, <laughs> stay so but overall, I would say the start of me using this Golo, I've been keeping up about 85%. Um, I haven't been able to take the pill three times uh, 
uh, day. I've been taking it uh, definitely every breakfast because I've been fixing this breakfast almost every day this week. I also like my potatoes to be quite salted. <clears throat> yeah, I've been uh, definitely taking it for breakfast. Definitely been taking it uh, once at work. Now it's finding that third time to take it. Because after I eat breakfast, I tried to stay up this week until like 4 o'clock in the afternoon and then lay back down. So it's kind of hard to find that third time to take it without eating and then laying right down on it. So, once you feel like your potatoes are done, because that's what you need to be done, first and foremost. Now this may look like a lot of food, but it's actually not that uh, much food and it it doesn't fill me up, fill me up, but it gives me a nice satisfaction. We'll get this plate ready. I'm going to go in with a little more of the badaya pepper because I like to actually see the pepper on it. And as I said before, I like it to have a, a peppery taste to it. Trust me, this is so good. Now if you like, you can substitute the broccoli for uh, baby spinach. I personally have a love-hate relationship with baby spinach because, you know, it goes bad so quickly that I really... I'm, I'm almost at my wit's end with the baby spinach. But I like the broccoli because it kind of grills and it don't get salted up. If you use baby spinach, it's going to get all uh, wilted, so to speak. It's going to get soft in the meal, in the dish. So I think I, I would much prefer the broccoli. Because the broccoli is going to give you that 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 crunch, crunchiness to the meal, where the cherry tomatoes, as I said, will give you that burst of freshness. And oh man, together, it's really really good. You can also make half of this and make an omelet, or not an omelet, but maybe a breakfast burrito if you buy some tortillas. I do have some tortillas in here, so maybe one day when I get tired of this. I'll do a different variation of it and, and use a tortilla and wrap some in the tortilla and eat. Just to give it a little bit of variation because you can get tired of eating the same thing. Uh, let's taste a piece of sausage. Nice. Now, I like my potatoes to have a little bit of crunch to them. I don't want to cook them until they like really soggy. They're not going to like fry up. You know how you fry like fry onions? They're not going to get to that type of fry because this is not going to, uh, this oil is not going to let it do that. But I like them to have a little, like, as they say in pasta, al dente to them. I can see some of the broccoli has um, some a little bit of char type on it where it looks like it's been grilled a little bit. So I've been off this weekend. I was really glad to be off this weekend. I was initially scheduled to work um, Saturday, but the operator decided that he didn't want to work, so I had the whole weekend off, and I'm so happy. I do have 12 hours Monday, though. I stay. Tuesday morning until 11.30 instead of getting off at 7.30. But that's okay. It looks like now we're finally getting out of work in the weekend because we had like, I don't know, five scheduled weekends. 
and this is not our summer run. All right, I'm going to taste a piece of uh, potato. Okay, that's right about where I want it. So now let's go in with the eggs. On the floor that goes. And the cherry tomatoes. And you want to get the stirriness up because you don't want your eggs to be an omelet. So you don't want it to sit. The cherry tomatoes also give it a lot of color. Well, not a lot, but some color. Once you feel that your eggs are the way you want them, the meal is complete. You can turn the uh, heat off because the residual heat will continue to cook the eggs. I don't like my eggs to get uh, too roughly done. And I think that will do it. Getting myself a glass of OJ I always have trouble with these tops alright guys glass of OJ and I like to also put more pepper on the top and there you have it guys this is my new Go to breakfast is healthy, is uh, didn't take long to fix, and it's really, really delicious. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. This is so delicious. If you've never made anything like this, you should give it a try, and I guarantee you that you will love it, and it will become one of your favorite uh, breakfast fix. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. As always, thanks for taking a few minutes out of your day to watch my videos. I appreciate you guys. You know that, and I'll see you guys the next time.